want to hear a little bit more about the kinds of programs RTI is actually engaged in in, in Asia. I know you work in Nepal and in uh, the Philippines and Indonesia and other places. What sort of work are you doing and what kinds of partners are you looking for to do that work effectively? So some of the key, uh, I'll use a couple of examples. The STRIDE program here in the Philippines mm -hmm. and the Knowledge Support Initiative in Indonesia, I think really reflect the needs of these evolving economies. Um, so as we see um, the pressures that Asian economies are under with labor rates increasing and the pressure of automation and robotics, as you said, there's a real need to understand how to drive job creation. So the workforce type programs we do in Stride, and there's interest in this around the world, but I think that we're doing some of our leading work here in the Philippines is really around how do you connect the demand, the supply and the demand? How do you make sure that, that's, that organizations that are providing training and training people for the, for the growing economy are responding to the needs of industry, the needs of the private sector? Mm -hmm. And creating that linkage and, and understanding, I think, is, is one of the things that the STRIDE program works at. And that's very important. Um, not to say that everyone needs to go into vocational training, but mm -hmm. you need to make sure that training institutes feel and, and hear those market signals and are tailoring the, what they're doing, whether whether it's, it's at the PhD or master's level or at the vocational level to what the economy is demanding. Right, so when you leave the program, you can get a job. That's the key right. element, right? That's that the key is the key factor. element. Um, it, it is the key. It's an easy way to measure success. Mm -hmm. um, and it's about technical training, but it's also about understanding the growth of, uh, of our world economy. As we talked about on the panel, the need for to understand that the data analytics is important is in driving everything. Do people in any subject matter really understand the importance of understanding data? You need to have a core field and technical expertise, but understand the interlinkages with other fields as, as things are really multidisciplinary. And then life skills training is really key because we know from the growth of um, in business management literature around leadership that um, I know you know at DevEx very well, the keys to success mm -hmm. are often about leadership qualities that are, that are very, not very tangible. Um, understanding how to motivate teams, how to develop strategies, how to move things forward. So there's a lot that we do as well on that leadership and life skills training component that I think is really important.